Good evening, friends. I just finished up a webinar that I was a guest on, um, and I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about mindset. That's what I covered. That's what I was speaking about was mindset and emotional intelligence. And um, I think it was really good timing. Hey, everybody, because here's the thing is, is that right now in this world, we need to adjust our mindset every day, right? We're gonna be triggered by all kinds of things. In regular life, things don't always go as planned, right? But our biggest responsibility is our mindset is how we are actually filtering everything, how we're bouncing back, how we're aware of ourselves. So um, if you've been following my stories a little bit today, today was, um, it was, a, it was a hard day, especially for my, my husband. It was one year since uh, my mother-in-law passed and that was on our mind and in our hearts today. And we had um, a one year cel celebration prayers for her this evening. Um, but I was expected on a call at right afterwards, right? So um, I could have easily said like, no, like it's not, you know, I shouldn't do that tonight or whatever. But instead I, I decided to bring my best and to connect to to the purpose of what I do and also to deliver what I said I was going to deliver, that integrity, right? And also to honor my mother-in-law who was all about like being an ambitious, successful woman and working hard. So I definitely showed up for her. But I wanted to share a few of the notes that I went on when I went through on this as a guest on this call. Um, so the call was all about having ch a champion mindset. So I don't know about you guys, um, but those of you who work from home, um, it's been a lot to, to keep that champion mindset over the last couple years. Um, and I think for me specifically, I think it's hit me harder than I realize because typically I would be infused every like month with some like fabulous adventure, like speaking on a stage or going somewhere or like, you know, just things to kind of like mix things up. But it's been a lot of the same for, you know, a couple of years. So I, I realized that my biggest responsibility to my family and also to my business and also to myself and to my future is really to be really aware of what my thoughts are and and being really good at flipping them around and it's really ultimately my job to vibe high right um, especially you know when i'm what i'm out here, you know, trying to empower and inspire women to embrace their ambition and to live their best life. So here are some of the notes that I wrote down. So um, number one was, so talking about emotional intelligence. So have you guys ever read or studied anything about emotional intelligence? I think it's, it's really one of the most important things that you can study. Um, this is actually, this book is from the Harvard Business Review. So like way up in Harvard, like, you know, they're talking about emotional intelligence. Um, but really it's it's a conversation that as mothers that we, we could and should be having with our children. Um, but that's really that that resilience, that, that ability to bounce back, that ability not to stay in those, in the, in the junk, you know, that's not serving us. So I spoke about that a little bit and I really shared that like absolutely everything in our life, it comes down to this. It comes down to how, how emotionally intelligent we are and really, especially in today's, um, the temperament of today is that we might be more triggered now and ease more easily triggered than ever before because a lot of us you could be burnt out in different ways right because of everything everything that we've been through so maybe you have a certain stance on different things maybe things are triggering you like you're watching instagram stories or something and something's like ah you know um but the thing is is whether it's just little things like that or bigger things that happen in the day to day the truth is, is if it's not going to matter in five years, we shouldn't spend more than five minutes, five seconds worrying about it, right? Because if it's not going to affect us, it's just robbing us of our impact, of our happiness, of, of our productivity in right now, right? So we really need to be mindful of that. Um, and I'm not 
perfect. I don't, I don't have this down pat. Sometimes things just take me right out of my zone, but I have to allow them to, right? So no one can do that to me. I have to allow that to happen, right? So really being aware of that. And then also one of my tricks for this, um, for this emo emotional intelligence piece, just when little things happen in the day to day, you know, it can sound something like, you know, can you believe that she did this or he said this or whatever it was, right? Something happened to you, someone did something to you, right? So what I like to do is actually to take myself out of it. So taking taking it happen to me out of it and imagine, imagine that my, uh, a girlfriend's telling me what happened to her. And in that way, when I'm hearing about it in that way, you're re re removing the emotion. So even though you can have the empathy for your friend, the same way you have empathy for yourself, you're not going to, it's not rational to stay in it, right? It doesn't serve your friend. So you would tell her, well, don't worry about it. Here's what we, here's what we could do to move on, right? And that is really like a great helpful hack for me around switching things around really quickly. All right, uh, I also touched on, I see Patty's here. Patty, I'm giving a little, little lowdown into what we covered on the call. Um, also comparisonitis, right? Um, we, you know, you might have this as a mom, you know, as a human, you know, just thinking someone's got it more together than you. You can feel totally in the zone, like you're totally rocking life and that you're feeling really good about what you're doing, where you're, what you're creating in your life. And then you go to someone's house and they seem to have it more organized or whatever and it and it makes you feel less than well that person didn't do that to you you had to allow yourself to feel that way and the same thing goes for like that same example in business i've seen some of the most incredible this girl wants to go somewhere the most incredible men and women get completely derailed because and they didn't voice it but i knew what happened is they seen someone you know, move faster, make more money, do it smoother, whatever. And it made them reconsider whether they were worthy or whether they could do what they were doing, right? It's such a trap, don't fall for it. Also, it's really quickly, and you guys know that, those of you who are moms, you know, if you are looking to embrace ambition and to bring your best into the world and you're looking to create great things and to work hard, don't don't get sucked into the trap of like of the mom guilt, right? And one example is our phones. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of people say like, you know, they're feeling bad about being on their phones or even vilifying phones, right? Like you don't want your children to, to view you from, you know, from the other side of your phone. While I absolutely believe that's true and I think it's all about being present when we're with our children, the also you can communicate and say, Mommy is here with you, but I'm also going to be working because this is what I'm working on right now. And you can actually say what you're doing, right? And if your children have memory of you working hard and being very purposeful and using your phone as a device, well, there's nothing wrong with that, you know? Um, and then my phone's about to die and this one has to go outside. But two more things real quickly, really quick is decision. Everything is a decision away. That workout, that getting up early, that decision to treat your business seriously, all of those things are just a decision away. And enthusiasm, get excited about what you're doing with your life. Get excited about your business. If you have products, get excited about them, right? Because enthusiasm is so contagious, right? People want to be around people who are enthusiastic about what they're doing. So I hope these words serve you. And if I can help you in any way, um, I'm here. I'm here for it. I got your back. Talk to you guys soon.